Hi everyone, we're back at the hill with this brand new giant 2021 Trans E Plus. It's got the Sync Drive Pro motor with 80 newton meters, and we can't wait to put it to the test up this hill and see how it compares to all the other bikes that we've brought to show you. If you like our content and videos, please remember to like and subscribe. So let's talk about the track. It's 200 meters long. It's got an average gradient of 17.5 and at the steepest point, it's 30 degrees. As you can see behind me, it's fairly smooth. It's not too rocky and it's fairly open. So we can put each of these e-bike motors to the test. The bike we are testing today is the Giant Trans X E Plus Pro 29.1. Has Fox 36 front forks, has Fox uh, DPX2 performance rear shock, 140mm rear, 150mm front. It has five assist levels uh, on the motor and it also has a smart assist mode which is a little bit like the EMTB that Bosch provides you. What we found about this particular giant motor was it provided very good support with very low cadence compared to some of the other motors that we tested. It's a great bike overall. It's got a good setup of 29 inch wheels with the Shimano XT drive system. Let's talk about the motor. So the Giant Sync Drive Pro has 360% of assistance and a maximum torque of 80 Newton meters. And in our riding it today, we certainly noticed that torque and that percentage of assistance in many situations. It really comes on with a very light touch. It really comes on down low and provides all the power you need, especially in tight going uphill situations. But it certainly does tend to taper off at the top end. So if we add the tuned E8000 Shimano motor, it has a maximum assistance of 450% and 75 Newton meters of torque. And that 450 really is noticeable there's less rider effort for more performance from that motor, especially when we're going up hills. We notice that every time with that tuned Shimano motor. Now, if we add the Bosch into the graph, you can see it's got 340% maximum assistance and a higher top end with the 85 Newton meters of torque. Now, if we add the red line, you can see we've got the Process Mag with 410% and 90 Newton meters and it's by far the best of both worlds. And we'll be interested to see just how the Giant stacks up now against not only the Bros, but the rest of those bikes that you see on the chart. Okay. Turning the Giant up to max power. Here I am, finally. We've got the Giant Trance E Plus, and we're about to put it through its paces up the hill. One, two, three, go. That's it on the Giant Sync Drive Pro 80 Newton meters. It's pretty good, it's smooth, feels good through the pedals. I reckon my time was good. Okay, first run on the Giant, here we go. 
not too bad on the giant quite a lot better than the last bike which was the EP8 it's definitely giving me some power up that hill hi everyone we're back at the top of the hill and we've finished our three runs on this great giant trans e plus with the Yamaha sync drive pro with 80 newton meters and it did a good job that's it for all the manufacturers now all the major ones we've taken up this hill We'll throw in a couple of wild cards in the future and have a bit of fun. Um, but let's get Lachlan to come in and tell us about how the times all finished up. All right, so looking at our leaderboard tree as usual, we can see the Giant did pretty well. It posted a solid time up there between the Bosch and the Rocky Mountain. So that's done pretty well. It's put itself in the top end of the leaderboard and I was quite happy with it. I felt like the power was quite good, particularly low down when you're up at the steep section of the hill. Yeah, and that's what I would agree. It definitely had more power than I expected as you're getting up to the steeper part of the hill. I guess the other chart to look at is the one over here, which has got all our averages that we did on this bike. And you can compare those with the other videos. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.